Hey DNA fam, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another one of my mommy vlogs. Hopefully this is one that you will see before the labor and delivery, well right before the labor and delivery vlog because I am 39 weeks plus four days pregnant today. And I am going to try to induce myself naturally. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Today is March 11th, 2020. And so I have my doctor's appointment tomorrow. And um, hopefully I don't make it to my doctor's appointment if I go in labor before then. Um, but if you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the family. So, you guys, what I've been doing, um, which has, I've been doing this for weeks, months, but I eat a lot of pineapple. So, I've been already eating pineapple and that does not make you go into labor like they say. Um, what else have I done? I've bounced on my ball for the past week um, and to open my cervix. Then I had my 38-week appointment last week and I was already one and a half centimeters dilated. So I'm wondering what I am today because um, I have been having some um, slight contractions all day and I've been walking in and out of stores and and it's been like a lot of pressure and just craziness. So I think we're in the start of it. So I'm going to see if me trying this midwives brew will speed it up. So yes, y'all, I am trying the midwives brew. I'm so nervous because I'm scared of the castor oil and, I'm, and I heard like the things that it can do and how it can make your contractions intense, but I'm going to try it anyway. Um, my family is here, so baby girl can come now. We are ready. Um, what else can I say? What else have I been doing? I've been drinking the raspberry leaf tea. I'm pretty much out of that. And what else? Yeah, I've basically been doing just all natural things regularly. And so nothing's really happening now, but I am contracting today. And my due date is March 14th. And here we are on the 11th. And I was thinking, you know what? The 12th is a good day to have or so. <laughs> so let's see what happens. We're gonna try the midwives brew. Let's go to the kitchen. All right, y'all, we are in the kitchen and we are trying the midwives brew. Now, you are supposed to drink this within 30 minutes, the whole thing in 30 minutes. So I have my sister here assisting me. She'll be off camera, but she will be assisting me. Yes, my sister is here. Okay, so the first thing that goes in the midwives brew is you have to have lemon verbena tea. And um, so everybody I saw, they've been getting the uh, Tazo Zen and it has uh, lemon verbena in the ingredients. And how much do we need of this? Uh, eight ounces. Eight ounces of the lemon verbena. And then I found the apricot nectar, apricot, apricot, however you like to pronounce it. I found the apricot nectar and how much for this? Yeah. 10 ounces of this, and then we have the almond butter. I got this brand. Um, my sister said she think I should get this brand. And I couldn't find the packet, so I had to get a whole thing of almond butter. And then I think I need two tablespoons of this. And then the ingredient that I'm so scared of because I heard what it does to you. I, am, I got the castor oil. And this is how many tablespoons? Two? Yeah. Two tablespoons of this. I'm so scared of this, y'all. But we are going to do it. I already have my tea brewing. And um, I have my blender. So let's do it, y'all. All right. So first thing we need, sister? Ten ounces of the um, apricot juice. Oh, ten ounces of apricot juice first? Yeah. Okay. And this is already, this is 11.5 fluid ounces. So 10 ounces of this. All right. Dang, that's a lot. I hope my measuring thing is big enough. All right, and then. Eight ounces. 
ounces of the tea? Eight ounces of the tea. drinker anyway so hopefully it won't be that bad but I know that caster will like oh. <laughs> and then what, what do we need two um, tablespoons of castor oil two tablespoons of almond butter okay so we'll do the almond butter first uh oh y'all I think this is where it gets nasty everybody says it's nasty they got oil mm -hmm. Let's a little Now y'all, it is, what time is it? 9.23 at night. I don't know why I didn't do this early. And usually you're supposed to maybe do a little walk or exercise afterwards. So I'll probably just bounce on my ball. And we'll see if I go in the labor. I'll take y'all on the journey with me. Two tablespoons of castor oil, yes. right? Then I have my little blender cup and um, I have ice in here because they always say it's better with ice and I'm not drinking it. Maybe I should try it warm, huh? I'll try it warm first. Let's see y'all. It's not that bad. And it's, um, the castor oil ain't even that bad. Maybe I blended this up real good. I mean, it's not great, but. All right, let's do ice. It ain't that bad warm, but I'd rather drink it cold. y'all i'm gonna drink this in 30 minutes it is 9 26 and so i will be back at 56 well you won't know it's 56 but i'll be back in a half hour and i'll let y'all know what's going on all right y'all i have about 20 minutes i am bouncing on my ball um i just had a contraction maybe like three minutes ago at uh, 8.34. So I have this much left because I was trying to clean up the stuff while I, before I drank it, but it'll be gone. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I should have seen if Daryl wanted to try it. I'm already, I've already been contracting today. And so we'll see if they really bring on the contractions. We shall see. And y'all, I have not been sleeping. I've been probably getting maybe like the night before I got two hours, last night I got three, but I took a late nap with Peyton today, so I'll probably be up for a while. Um, I'll probably go to bed maybe like two or three o'clock in the morning if I go to bed. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna drink it all. And then I'll come back and let y'all know, give y'all some updates on what's going on with the contractions. All right, y'all, it's all gone. I drank it in 17 minutes. That was easy, that wasn't bad. So hopefully I don't throw up, hopefully I don't get sick, hopefully I don't get like, <laughs> have major painful bowel movement or something like that, like they say could happen. Um, I should be okay. I haven't eaten since, um, I don't know, way earlier. So, um, everything should be good. And we'll see. I'll update y'all what happens. So, stay tuned. Hey, y'all, it's 10.55 at night. Is it 10.55? Oh my gosh, it's 10.55. Um, Y'all, these contractions is, are no joke. They are from, um, I would say 10 to 12 minutes. Every 10 to 12 minutes I'm having contractions, um, but they are kind of like moderate. They're not so, they're not too bad like that, but they are definitely contractions and I'm like, oh my God, why did I do this to myself? Um, but I've had at least maybe like after that midwives brew, I've been having them every 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and they have been, they went from slight to moderate and it's getting serious. I'm about to, um, get in the shower to see if it'll help the pain because I'm trying to labor as much as I can at home. But um, I think I'm supposed to go to the hospital maybe like, um, I wanna say once, they say with the second child it should be 10 minutes. So I'm almost feeling like another one coming on unless she's just moving. I think it's another one. Oh shoot. <sighs> Oh my God, they having it so fast. I'm filming now. <sighs> All right, y'all, I'm going to take a shower and um, I'll come back and keep you updated, but it's getting real. I might be going to the hospital tonight. All right, see ya. All right, y'all, I'm in between contractions so I can talk to you for a second. Um, we are on our way to the hospital. We left the house at 11.20 p.m. The contractions were unbearable. They were no joke in. So we called the hospital. Y'all, I done messed up. I just want to let everyone know that although the midwives brew worked, I do not recommend anyone to try this. If I had the opportunity to do this all over again, I would not. 
The castor oil intensified my contractions to an unimaginable pain that I can't even describe. Yes, things were sped up, but crazy nonetheless. Stay tuned for the labor and delivery video. Brew worked. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. 